Hey everybody, today is Monday of the first day of Lent, and it's also the second day of our Lenten Novena, in which we are contemplating together the call to gratitude. And I'd like to offer a thought that gratitude isn't the feeling that I'm really content and enjoying everything that hap that's happening in my life right now. Gratitude is the profound sense, the realization that uh, that life has a gift character, that uh, it's a recognition of the givenness of things and all of their great joy and of their sadness, that to be a disciple of the Lord is to be one who receives, who receives um, the, the, the gift of life from God, one who has a capacity to receive others. You know, we see the full image of life in Jesus on the cross, that life fundamentally is about gift, gift of self. So the self-denial of Lent and all of our discipline is simply the dark side of our self-giving. And gratitude, generosity, these two things go together as the expression of our profound recognition, the gift character of life. Our call is to, to receptivity in all things. Today's gospel uh, gives us the, the great judgment scene from Matthew, it's 25th chapter. And what's, what's striking about this story, which as far as I can tell is the only real judgment scene in the Gospels, is that the, the judge doesn't ask any of the typical questions that you would expect. He doesn't ask, did you go to Mass or did you commit this sin or that sin, as important as those questions might be. But for Matthew, the judgment is only one thing. It's the quality of our love for the people who are the least while we're alive. You know, he se separates out sheep and goats and the judgment is what you did or did not do for the least, you did and did not do for me. That's uh, very much in line with the prophetic tradition and uh, offers us, I think, a real challenge. What's so interesting about the story is at the judgment, neither the, she the sheep nor the goats, the people who did good things and the people who did not, neither one realized what they had done. Perhaps this is a poetic way of uh, leaving judgment to God. I had a great uh, pastor when I was growing up who uh, once made the comment, if your God loves all the same things you love and hates all the same things and all the same people you hate, you yourself are the God. And that's always uh, sent a little shiver down my spine. Something great to sacrifice for Lent would be my need to be God and um, rather be grateful and stand inside of that divine flow of self-giving.